The streak continues for the Buccaneers, winless at home for the sixth consecutive game, dating all the way back to last year. They lost today to the Falcons 27 to 17. And to make matters worse, this was a rematch of that week three beatdown that they suffered to the Falcons in which they lost 56 to 14. So a little bit better result today, but after having so many things going their way between the injuries to the Falcons, the fact that they got their starting quarterback back with Josh McCown, they still could not get this one done. It's just a tough situation. You know what I mean, Everything, I, mean we play, I think we're playing so much better. Yeah, we just do stupid things by penalty wise. I mean, we just got to get together and focus more on doing little things and taking away those penalties. I bet if we don't have those penalties, we, we win this game. I mean, there were questionable calls, you know, we got to keep fighting through. And, uh, you know, we had some good flashes today. You know, uh, we did well as an offense, and we just got to stop beating ourselves. You know, we were so close, you know, almost every game was so close, and uh, we always, unfortunately, always on bottom. So, you know, it's, I don't know what it is anymore. I guess you, you got to keep doing us, I keep making plays, and, you know, stop beating ourselves. Honestly, I kind of knew what type of questions I was going to get. I, I really was sitting in the whole time thinking like what I can say. I don't know anymore, man. Right, so we just bottom line is we gotta get it done. It would not. I, I really wish I could come up with something to say why it's not happening. I don't know, man. I don't know. As a man, as a as a ball player, you know, you just gotta find a way. I mean, it's it's tough. You heard from several guys in the locker room after the game, but one guy you didn't hear from was quarterback Josh McCown taking this loss very, very hard, actually broke down crying because he was so emotional. Another guy I talked to, Jonathan Banks, he said the worst part about being one and eight, it's not just losing, but the fact that after these losses, he now has to go home to his son and explain to him why daddy lost yet again. And that's a question that he's really struggling to find answers to, just as all these other guys are struggling to answer why the team continues to struggle. Reporting from Raymond James Stadium with Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.